and welcome back to my channel. So today I'm going to be cleaning our office using these natural cleaners. Today I'm going to be cleaning this area of our home but before I do if you are new to my channel then hello and welcome it's lovely to have you here and if you like these kind of videos and would like to see more then I upload every Tuesday Thursday and Saturday at 7 a.m. so don't forget to hit that subscribe button below for more videos like this one so today I'm going to be cleaning this room in our house this is our office so it does get used quite regularly by myself and my husband and it's in need of a really good spring clean as well this video is part of a series that I've been doing on my channel where I've been going around and cleaning my whole home using organic and natural products this is one of the last rooms to be done and today I'm going to be using these organic and natural products. I have used these in lots of previous videos and I will link those in the description box below for you. But today I'm going to be using these. I've really enjoyed using these products. I think they're great and I also think they're really inexpensive for what they are as well. And I will talk more about these in the video but for now here is how I've cleaned our office. So to begin the cleaning process, I'm going to start by removing the books from the shelves. So I don't get confused and end up putting the wrong books in the wrong places, I'm going to clean shelf by shelf. So I remove the items from the very top of the bookcase, then I clean using my method polish. Once the top of the bookcase is cleaned, I then move on to cleaning the shelves. I remove all of the books from the top shelf, and clean. Then I leave it to dry. While it's drying I move on to removing all of the books from the next shelf down and cleaning it and then I put all of the books from the top shelf back. I continue this process until I've reached the bottom. As I mentioned earlier I'm using this method polish and I've been using this polish in a few videos. It's an all-natural polish that contains no chemical nasties. I've really enjoyed using it in my home and I will definitely be buying it again. When the shelves are clean and I've put the books back, I then move on to cleaning the desk. The desk we brought from Costco a few years ago and it's a very small desk. It used to fit in our spare room in our old house perfectly, but it feels a bit small for in here now. However, we will make do with it for now. Again, to clean the desk, I start by removing all of the items that are on it. Once everything has been removed, I then start to clean using the method polish again. Once the desk has been dusted and polished, I then start to put everything back. While I'm putting the items back on the desk, I check to see if there is anything we can throw away. The boxes that sit on this desk hold pens and pencils. One day soon, I will go through this box and throw away any items that are no longer working. For now, the desk is clean, so I'm moving on to cleaning underneath the desk. For some reason, my husband has decided to store lots of wires under this desk. Every time I put my feet under here, I feel lots of plastic bags. So I've decided to use a storage box to store all of these items. I'm going to put these on top of the cupboard. I will show you this later. The boxes we brought from Wilkinson's a little while ago and they've been sitting in our laundry. So I thought this would be the perfect place to use them. So once everything is in the box, I have a quick clean of the legs and the base of the desk and then I set the box aside for later. Now I'm going to move on to cleaning the window sill. There are a few items that need to be tidied away here, so I'm going to do that first and then I move on to removing the photos, the lamp, the didgeridoo from here as well. So now I spray the window sill with the method polish and wipe it down. Finally, I put all the pictures back and everything I want to keep on the window sill. Once everything is back, I'm going to move on to cleaning the top of the cupboards. My husband has decided to store old games that he keeps telling me he's going to sell. They are in no particular order and look a bit of an eyesore up here, so I've decided to put them into the boxes we've been storing in our laundry. 
These boxes are handy because they are fold away containers. They can store lots of items. So I move everything from the top of the cupboard. I give it a clean, again using my method polish. Once that's clean, I then start to put all of the items from the top of this cupboard into the boxes. Thankfully, the items fit neatly into two boxes that will sit on top of his cupboard. And the items I found under the desk and a few other bits as well are going to sit in the last two fold away boxes on top of my cupboard. Finally, as I was cleaning the window sill, I forgot to clean the window. So I go back to the window and for this I'm going to use my Circa washing up liquid and a few drops of organic peppermint essential oil. These products I've used in previous cleaning videos and I've really enjoyed using them. They've done a great job, especially at cleaning my windows. So that's why I'm using them in here. Peppermint oil can make a room smell very fresh as well. So it's great for an office. So I clean the window and the frame and then I dry it with a tea towel and move all of the pictures back. And that is my office clean and reorganized until next time. I did not get rid of any books. When we moved in, we took a lot of books to the charity shop. So I felt these were the ones we wanted to keep the most. All of the products I have used in this video, I will link in the description box below. As with all of my other videos, I've not been sponsored by any of these companies to make this video. I just really enjoy using their products and I would recommend them to a friend. That's our office clean and that's it from me. Thank you so much for watching. Please feel free to give me a big thumbs up if you enjoyed this video and please feel free to leave any comments below. Have you got an office in your home and have you been cleaning it? What have you been using to clean it with and would you consider using organic or natural products? I'd love to know and please don't forget to hit that subscribe button. See you all soon. Bye!